My name is Greg Evans. I work for USDA APHIS, the Animal Plant Health Inspection Service in Beltsville, Maryland. I'm responsible for the identification of scale insects and white flies primarily. So if we'll move to the next slide, which is the Alluracanthus uh, slide. This species in real life is very black and you need to stain it. This one's, I mean, you have to uh, bleach it to get the color out of it so, so you can see the structures. Okay, we go to couplet number two. It says, dorsum with elongate gland near spines or siphons versus uh, not having those. If it's, if it's the other character, if they just have uh, short flagellate seed here, which sometimes may be long, but they're very thin. Okay, so this one has those very large spines. You can see that they're all over the body. They're long and thick. And the body margin is, is very, uh, these have very long teeth along the margin. But because it has those very long spines on it, and that character is pretty much unique to Alluracanthus. And so that, that alone is enough to identify it to genus. When you, when you get down to identifying this to species, you need to start counting how many of these uh, spines there are and other characters. And some, some species have them very short and et cetera. This is the Vasiform orifice in this species. And you see here, it's a sort of chordate shape, which is heart shaped. And here's the operculum here. Okay. 